Hey all, we're working through the Unix terminal unit and specifically we're talking about the lesson navigating the file system. So before we actually dig into learning some of our Unix commands and starting to navigate our way around the terminal, there are a few things that we need to talk about first. Uh, the first thing that we'll talk about is just the structure of a file system and you're likely aware by this point uh, what that structure looks like. And that structure is, it is a, a tree structure. Uh, I have a finder window open here over on the left side of my screen. Let me see if I can't make that any bigger. It looks like that's as big as it's going to go. Um, yep, that's as big as it's going to let me zoom, I believe. Yep. So, um, the way this works, right, is we have this tree structure. Right now, where I have this opened is just in my hard drive, which is the root directory, the very uh, root of the tree, and everything stems from the root. And we can see that users is one of the directories inside of that root, and in particular, right, my username is Lance Barto, and I can open that up and I am sort of working my way into the tree where there are at sometimes these nested directories, right? If I were to look in my desktop directory, right, I can see all of the different files that I have on my desktop and directories that I have on my desktop. So we have this tree system and that's how we're going to navigate through our file system using the terminal as you navigate this tree. Now, just some quick terminology. Anytime we say up directory, that means uh, one directory in the direction of the root. So if I was, say, in this PyCache directory and I said I wanted to go up one directory, that would be referencing the desktop directory as up one directory. So that's the basic f structure of a file system where we have this tree. Uh, like I said, it's hopefully something that you're familiar with. And if it isn't, it will be something that hopefully comes to you pretty intuitively pretty quickly. Now, there are a few other things that we need to talk about before we really dig into the command line interface or the terminal navigator. And that is everything to do with... Uh, our working directory, uh, and then some different ways to express file paths, an absolute file path, a relative file path, and a home directory file path. So the first one of those is the working directory. Now, anytime that you're in the terminal or using the command line interface, you can sort of imagine yourself as being a file that lives in or is currently residing inside of some directory. And if at any point you need to figure out which directory that you are in, you can do so with the command PWD, which is short for print working directory. If I go ahead and execute that here, um, I'm told, hey, you're in that users directory inside of Lance Barto, right? If I want to just find that in my visual navigator, my finder here, right? I can see that I am in the users directory in my root and then I am in the directory Lance Barto. Uh, this directory is also known as the home directory or the user directory, depending on if you're in Mac or in Linux. And in general, when you open up a new terminal, this is the place that you're going to be uh, put. So that brings up the next thing to talk about, and that is this idea of a file path, right? Um, when I run print working directory, it gives me this absolute file path. So an absolute file path gives you the location of some file or directory in relation to the root directory, right? Or, or the main directory of the hard drive. If you're a, a Windows user, you know, you would imagine that being the C directory. In a Linux or a Mac, it it typically doesn't have a name or at least not one that's expressed explicitly uh, in an absolute file path. But any any file path that starts with this uh, slash, this forward slash, is actually uh, 
a root directory, right? And I'm gonna just change directory. I'm gonna move to my desktop, right? I know that that's a de uh, directory, right? I can see my little command prompt. It tells me uh, the last two extensions of my current working directory, um, right? I'm in this desktop now, right? And if I run PWD now, right, I can see now that I'm one further. Right, so we're starting at the root and then we're in users, Lance Barto, and desktop. Right, I could have, right, I could say CD, I could put in an absolute file path here users, Lance Barto, and this time let's go to documents. Right, and now if I print my working directory, right now I can see that I am in my documents directory. So this is an absolute file path it gives a location in relation to the root directory or just the main hard drive. So the next type of file path that we're gonna talk about is a relative file path. So this gives a file path in relation to where you currently are. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out, get another print working directory just so we know where we're at, right? I'm in this documents directory Right, and if I actually, I'm gonna hide some files here. If I actually, I can see that I have, uh, I actually can't see that document folder if it's unhidden. Under Lance Barto, if I scroll down here, I can see I have this documents folder. Let's say I wanted to move from my documents folder to my downloads folder but I didn't wanna do so with an absolute path. I wanted to do so with a relative path. Um, I could do that by giving it the location I want to go to in relation to my current location, right? I'm gonna use again this command CD. This is short for change directory. Uh, we'll talk about this a little bit more in depth, but this is going to be one of the most common Unix commands that you use and I wanna change directory, but this time I wanna change it in relation to where I currently am. Now to get into my downloads folder from here, I need to go first up one directory, which means I can use the dot dot notation. Dot dot means up one directory. And then from here, I can now go to my downloads directory. And I can see that I went up one directory back into Lance Barto, my home directory, and then navigated into downloads. So when we're working with relative file paths, remember that dot dot means up one directory. Let's say I wanted to go all the way back into my root. Let's see if I could just uh, CD up one, that'll get me back into my user directory. This will get me into users and this will get me into the root. And I can see now that I am simply in the root directory. So this is always going to give you a location or take you uh, to a location in relative terms to your current location. I'm gonna just move back to my, my home directory real quick. And we'll look at one last thing here. In addition to the dot dot, I'm gonna go ahead and list off some directories. This is the ls command, we'll talk about it some more. But I just wanna see um, some of the directories that I have here. I have music, pictures, public. Let's go ahead and move into the, um, I'll continue to sort of use desktop documents and downloads. But if I want to move into, use a relative file path and just move into a directory that is nested inside of my current directory, I can refer to my current location, my working directory, just with a single dot, right? So I can say, oh, I want to go ahead and change directories into a directory called downloads that resides within my current directory. And I can see that also moves me in. Uh, using relative file paths, we can actually just leave off this first part though. Uh, if I go up directory back to where I was, and then if I just go to CD desktop, it'll just take me right to that desktop. So it's not always 100% necessary to put in that current directory and then the forward slash, but especially when you're writing code, this relative 
and absolute file paths. These are concepts that you're going to use in Python as well when you're referencing reading in data files or writing out data files. Um, it's a good habit to get in to use this, this um, dot as referencing your current directory. And the last thing that I'll mention here, or I guess the second to last thing that I'll mention is just the, uh, the tab key can be very valuable to you while you're navigating your file system. Uh, in this case, I've just put CD space D and then I hit the tab key. And what it gave me is it gave me a list of all of the directories that are inside of my current directory that start with the letter D. So I now can use autofill, right? And if I continue to hit the tab key, it will actually cycle through all of these and I can get to whichever one I want to really quickly, right? Also, if you are trying to open or execute some sort of file in the terminal, uh, using the tab key will do autocomplete. So let's see if I move back here and I want to change into my movies directory. I'm only going to have one directory that's called movies or that starts with MOV. So I hit the tab key after typing MOV and it went ahead and auto filled the rest for me. I can just hit enter. Go ahead and move right into that directory. So the tab key, the autocomplete key is going to be really valuable when you're working in your terminal here. Now, now the last thing that I am going to talk about is the is it's called a uh, home directory path, right? So instead of an absolute file directory or a relative file directory or file path directory path, uh, we're going to talk in terms of file paths in relation to the home directory. And in general, the home directory is represented by the tilde. If you can see that, that's the little the little wiggly guy um, up in the upper left of your keyboard. And I'm in this movies directory. Let's say I want to move straight to my home directory. That's where my terminal started. I can just use CD space tilde, and that takes me right back to my home directory. Now, let's say I did want to move into, I'll go back into movies right and let's say i want to move into that downloads or that desktop file right uh before i did up one directory and then downloads right but this time i'm going to put it in terms of its location relative to my home directory so i'm going to start with the tilde to represent home and then my forward slash and then i'll go into downloads and i can uh use that tab auto complete and it go ahead it takes me all the way there um so this is how these sort of different styles of paths work um the command pwd print working directory it's always going to return a file path in terms of an absolute file path so that's just a little little side note to have um there's not one of these that's necessary necessarily better or superior than the others but i will say you know if you start to you know get pretty deep into your tree you know if i go into um if i go into you know and it's getting to the point where i might need to zoom out a little bit for you to continue to see this Um, if I start to get pretty deep into my my file path, right? If I want to, you know, move into some file from this location, you know, using an absolute path, there's going to be, let's see, uh, one, one, two, uh, three directories, right? So I would have to say uh, galvanize prep dev slash this dsi prep module intermedia python slash double zero welcome to intermedia python right backslash the name of my file or the name of the directory that i'm trying to navigate to and this can get pretty verbose pretty quickly right so uh using the just relative file paths 
just the CD with the name of the directory that you want to move into can save you a lot of typing. So maybe one is better in that way because of that, but that's really the only case that I can think of. Um, all of these different types of file paths work and there are different situations where one might uh, be better than the other. So that's it for the things that we're going to talk about. We talked about the command print working directory where we can see where we're currently at. We talked about change directory where I can actually change which directory I'm in, right? I can check up and see where that is at all times. And we also talked about absolute file paths, right? Anything that starts with this forward slash is an absolute pile file path we talked about relative file paths with two dots representing up one directory one dot representing the current directory that i am in and lastly we talked about uh, home directory file paths and that starts with the tilde representing the location of home so that's it for this video i look forward to seeing you in the next one of the series